Hey friends, and welcome back today for a brand new video. It has been a while. I feel like I have not uploaded in so long. I have missed you guys. I am here today with a new Glowish video for you. I know you guys love Glowish just as much as I do, and they have new little mini eyeshadow palettes that I've been dying to try, so I have these on my eyes today. I'm gonna be giving you looks with all three of the little micro mini palettes, as well as giving you my thoughts on the new jelly balms from Glowish as well. So if that sounds like something you might be interested in, let's go ahead now and get started. It feels good to sit here and talk to you. Like I said, I know it's been a minute since I've uploaded. I've just really been trying to prioritize my time. That is something that I told myself I was going to do this year and I really want to be better at it. And unfortunately, YouTube has just been one of those things that I've kind of taken a slight hiatus from just because it is so time consuming and I just want to spend all the time with my littles. I want to get all the things done and I just have only so much time. But I do have a fun review for you today that I'm excited to film. It feels weird to be like talking to the camera and been so long since I've done this. A little rusty, so bear with me, but I am excited nevertheless to get into these products and to share them with you. So first up, we have new mini eyeshadow palettes from Glowish, which if you don't know Glowish is the sister brand to Huda Beauty. It is her um, brand within it. I feel like she has a lot of products within Glowish that are very minimal, just very kind of barely their makeup. So I wasn't expecting to really see eyeshadow palettes from the brand because I feel like, I mean, it makes sense, but I also feel like they've just been doing so much complexion that we haven't really gotten anything in the eyeshadow realm. So I was excited to see these, to see the formula. Um, I will say that the formula is really nice on these. You will see in a second, I got to use all three of the palettes and you will see how they perform, but I feel like the quality is there on these, but these are definitely mini. When I opened them, I was like, these are small. So she calls them a micro mini palette and it is definitely a micro mini palette. So there are three of them all together and there are three different color stories. So I'll show you each one of them individually. This first one here is called called Moss, and this is the one that you are seeing on my eyes right now. Each one of the quads does have three matte shades and then a shimmer shade. She describes it as a pearly shimmer. I will say that it is more of my opinion kind of more of like a satin shade in two of the palettes So this is the only one this one here in the shade clay I feel like this one has a little bit more of a punch to it when it comes to the shimmer um, The other two don't really have much reflect in them. They're more of just like a satin So I wanted to mention that because she does kind of describe them as pearls and I feel like they're just I don't know they're not as sparkly as I was expecting. So that is the clay palette. And then the last one of the little um, trio here is the shade Amethyst. And this one, of course, is a pretty purpley pink palette. So there is a look there at Amethyst. And I do want to show you swatches of the palettes as well. I did quickly just want to throw them up next to an Obsession palette. So you guys can see when I say they are mini. <laughs> they are very mini because these are already small palettes in itself. But like look at it compared. You can definitely tell like they're small, small little baby palettes. So definitely something you could throw in your purse, definitely something smaller. I don't have a price point on these yet. Sometimes they include that like in the PR package, but I don't have any prices. So I'm not exactly sure price wise where those are landing. I'm hoping more on like the $15 range because I do feel like they are so small, but I guess we'll see on prices. I will have them linked down below as soon as they are available. And then she's also launching with this some jelly bombs. So these are lip balms. And I have to say the packaging on these is 10 out of 10. They look so good. They're kind of in like this little frosted um, clear packaging and each one of the flavors of them has the colored tube, which I feel like is so fun. I love that there's a green and a blue. I just feel like that's kind of a fun moment. So the green is going to be your matcha flavor and these are going to be a lip Balm. So they're described as a hydrating lip balm that is supposed to give you 12 hours of hydration. Um, I have been using these and I will say they don't really stay on the lips very long. I've been maybe sitting here for 10 minutes, 12 minutes, and I feel like it's already kind of wearing off. I'll apply a little bit more, but these are definitely more of like a lip balm, chapstick type of thing where you can keep applying them throughout the day. Um, they do feel nice on the lips. They almost remind me a smidge of like a lip smacker, the scent to them. It definitely has like that lip scent that the lip smackers have. I don't know, as soon as I put these on, I was like, oh my gosh, it smells like a lip smacker. So kind of a little nostalgia for me because I used to use those a lot. So that's kind of what those remind me of a little, but they each have a different um, scent to them and a different like flavor, if you will. The scents on those are coconut, a goji berry, a blueberry, and then also the green one is the matcha that you just saw me put on. And the colors with these, I feel like they have a slight different tint to them, but they look pretty similar on the lips as far as the color on 
each one of those goes. Um, let me quickly show you the swatches of each one of the quads and then we can go ahead and get into me trying them out on the eyes. So the first one you are seeing right here is the Moss Palette. Again, that is the one that I have on my eyes right now. So you can see that the shimmer, it definitely has some reflect in it, but um, it isn't as like sparkly as say like a typical Huda Beauty palette has like those really shimmery goodness sparkly shades it's definitely not one of those it has some sparkle to it but it's kind of more of like a satiny shade and then you have your of course three mattes right there and then the next swatches you are seeing here is the clay palette and this is the one that I said it definitely has more shimmer to it than the other two so you can see it definitely has more of a sparkly look to it this is pretty much a more true shimmer that Huda tends to do so that more like sparkly type of shade and then you have your three mattes there as well. This one was kind of hard to get on the swatch, but it is more of like a peach shade, peach orange. So there you can see all of those colors within that quad. And then the last one here is going to be the Amethyst palette. So there you can see your shimmer and then your three mattes. When I swatched these, they look pretty similar, but on the eye, I didn't think they looked too similar. Um, so just keep that in mind. I feel like swatches can only tell you so much about a palette, but I did want to include those. And then let's now get into me creating looks with all three of them. And then I kind of get into my final thoughts on everything here at the end. All right, so to get started, we're gonna go in with the clay palette first and I'm going to use that I think on one eye and then I'll go ahead and use the um, amethyst palette on the other eye and then we'll finish with the green palette so let's first start with this one obviously since it's just a small quad I feel like there's not that many colors to choose from so it's going to be pretty basic I'm going to try to use all four of the shades in here First, I'm going to pick up the lightest shade. I'm gonna be using all What's Up Beauty brushes. They sent me these and they're actually really nice um, quality brushes and I've been using them quite a bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start to lend this into my crease right here. Very curious to see how this formula is, if it is similar to Huda's typical formula or if it's something new. I will let you guys know as we go along here. So far, that shade seems actually pretty pigmented. It is a little bit deeper than it looks in the pan on the lid. I'm gonna go in with a second pass here. That's looking really good. Let's go ahead and go into this like beigey mustard yellow and I'm gonna do the same thing with the last shade that I did but I'm gonna bring this a little bit higher and see if we can't kind of get those together to make more of like an orange almost. So I'm just gonna kind of work that into the crease. Blending seems pretty good so far with the mattes. I'm going to grab a little bit of a smaller brush and we'll go into the deepest shade here in the palette. It's more of like a terracotta and bring this just here on the outer portion of the eye, really focusing this and just like that outer V over there. Very punchy. Pigment is definitely here on these palettes for sure and blending. It seems to be blending really nicely. You guys are seeing it in real time right here, but I'm not having any patchiness or anything like that. It seems pretty smooth to blend. And then lastly for this one, we're going to just grab the shimmer in the palette. This is what I'm most excited to see and bring this on the lid. I am going to use a brush. I typically do use my finger, but I am going to use a brush and then if I need to, I'll go in with my finger. So we'll see. Okay, definitely has something to it, but let's use my finger. I just kind of wanted to see with a brush what it would be like, but I do like to just use my finger because I feel like it gives a better pigment that way. Definitely seems very sparkly. I feel like this is the perfect little fall eye right here. I like that. It's cute. I do think the shimmer looks pretty nice. The mattes definitely performed nicely. So that is a look at this little quad right here, what you could do with it. Obviously you could mix and match some of the shades, but it's kind of generically, I feel like what you're gonna get with this quad just cause it is just a couple of shades, but that's pretty, I like that. So now let's do the amethyst one on the other eye. All right, now for amethyst, I'm gonna start with the bone matte shade right here and I'm gonna just use that in my crease. Let's see if that's any deeper. It is a little bit deeper. Sometimes I feel like these palettes can tend to look pretty sheer, like that definitely looks like more of a sheer shade. But then I feel like when you get it on the lid, they can tend to be a little bit on the deeper side. So it definitely has a little bit of depth to it. All right, next I'm going to grab the next shade right here and then bring that on to the lid as well. Just again, kind of focusing it out here and then starting to bring it in. And then when we go in with the green palette, we'll do like a full look. I'll do the lower lash line and we'll do like some mascara and all the things. I just wanted to try out all three of the palettes. I thought this was an easy way for you guys to see them in action. 
and still get an idea of what kind of looks you could create with them. So there's that shade. I'm really impressed with the blendability of these. I feel like they are blending really nicely. And now we're just gonna grab the deepest color in the palette. I'm gonna stay with this brush and just kind of work that on the outer portion and then start to bring it in. Then once I've got it placed, I'm gonna grab a smaller little pencil brush here and just kind of bluff out those edges a little bit. And then let's go ahead and grab the shimmer from the palette. This one seems to be more of like a satin compared to the left shade, definitely had a lot more sparkle in it. And this one seems to be more of that like, you know, satiny shade, so. I feel like for me, I love a little sparkle. This is giving a small amount, but it's definitely not as punchy as the other quad. I'm gonna get a brush so I can get the inner corner here really good. But there is a look with the Amethyst palette. If I was choosing between the two, I feel like I would probably choose the first one, the clay, just because I do like the sparkle a little bit more. Um, I'm just not a huge satin fan. It's not that I hate satin shades. I just don't often go for them either. I'm gonna do a full matte look or I'm going to do a shimmery look. I feel like I don't really reach for satins a lot, so for that reason, I'm not in love with the way that this looks, but I do feel like it blended nicely. All the shades performed fine, it's just not my ideal type of look, but here's both of those palettes. Performance-wise, they performed nicely, and then let's go ahead and wash this off, and then I'll do the green look. So I'm first gonna start with this lightest shade, and we're going to just bring that into the crease here. This one it definitely looks like it has a little more depth to it than the other palettes. So this shade is much cooler than it looks in the pan on the eyes. I'm noticing that it's kind of a trend with these palettes. Like to me, I mean it looks cool in the pan, but it doesn't look as deep as it is appearing on the eyes. It looks like it would be more of like a green. And at least on me, it's looking and pulling a little bit more on the purple side. I don't mind it because I love this type of shade. I feel like Huda does these this kind of color a lot. I feel like she does it in her bigger palettes in particular. But um, yeah, I do like this type of shade. I just wasn't expecting it to be this kind of purpley look. For the next shade, we're going to go into the green and bring that also on the lid. Now that I've got this first shade, though, I'm like, I don't know that it really goes <laughs> with the green. I mean, it does, but... I just feel like, I don't know, I'm like almost feeling a little weird about mixing the two, but we'll see how it turns out. So I'm going to just put that on there. It's not looking as green as it does in the pan as it is on the lid. It's definitely more deep. Um, it could be because I'm applying it over top of that first shade too, but it doesn't look as punchy. It looks definitely more like army green on the lid. Blending, it's still seeming to blend easily though, so I'm definitely here for the formula on these. I'm not exactly sure if they're exactly the same as her other palettes, um, but I do feel like it is a nice formula, so I'm not mad at that at all. I wasn't sure what to expect, but blendability is definitely there on these. I feel like they, they are blending really easily, not having any issues with that, which is nice. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the next green in here and do the same thing, kind of focus this just on the outer portion out here and then start to bring it in. I really like this look, but it is not at all what I was thinking I was getting from this quad. I don't know why, but I thought it was gonna be a little bit more on the green side. Like I feel like this shade in particular, it's almost like disappearing in there. It's definitely turning into more of like a very dark smoky eye with like these two shades together. Um, let's see if we bring the green. I'm just gonna put it on my finger because in the swatch it like looked like it was really green, but when I put it on the lid, okay, that's more green. So maybe it was just topping it over top of the other shade that kind of made it pull a little bit deeper, but that is pretty on the lid just as like a green. I don't always apply mats with my fingers, but sometimes, you know, if I want to see how punchy they are, I will. So it's definitely green now that I've got it on. I think it was just kind of putting it on top of that other shade, kind of dulled it a little. This is actually really pretty, just like this matte look. I'm almost not even wanting to use the shimmer because I really like how this looks. What I'm going to do is actually just put this on the outer portion of the lid. So I'm just going to put it on here so we can see what it looks like but I also just like kind of am digging this all matte green moment and I don't wanna like ruin it by putting the satin there. So I don't know that it's really gonna show up super well. I feel like that's almost just like making the outer corner seem a little patchy. I think we might leave it here. I think I'm gonna leave it here because I do wanna try it, but I also feel like I'm gonna like this look more without it. I'm also getting some fallout trying to use it here on the outer corner as well. And I don't wanna like ruin my base makeup. So I'm just gonna tap a little more on this side since I added a little sparkle on the other. Um, you can definitely see 
a little bit of shimmer there in it, but I am gonna just leave that blank. Maybe we can put it on our lower lash. That's an idea to use it. So let's do that. We'll tight line down here with it just to add it. I'm gonna just keep it on the outer portion here of the eye. Okay, I am loving the depth that I have right now. I'm gonna apply a liner from ColourPop. This one is in the shade Wildcat, and I'm just gonna put this on my waterline. It's like a green gold, and I think it'll look perfect with this eye look. I love this. Definitely much deeper than I was expecting to get just from these few shades, but I think it looks so pretty. It's a really nice smoky moment. Let's go ahead and add some mascara. For that, I've been on the kick of using this new mascara from Too Faced. It's a mascara primer. I've been really liking it, and I like to use this just with the original Too Faced mascara. So I'm just going to apply this first to prime the lashes, and then I'll go in with my actual mascara next. What's nice about this primer is that it is black, so I feel like when you apply your mascara over top of it, it's not going to be hard to cover. Sometimes I feel like that's my con with mascara primers. When they're white, I feel like it's hard to get your mascara over them, and this one is just so easy to apply. And then I'm just gonna put my mascara right on top. I do have like this weird pimple happening right here on my eyebrow and I can't get any like brow product to stick on that. I'm actually trying a new brow product. So let me know what you guys think of the brows minus like that little spot there, but I can't get anything to stick. So it's like weird because it looks like I just have like this bald patch right there. All right, and there is our completed eye look. I really love how this turned out. It's so like dramatic and smoky and pretty and I really just love green so much, so I think it looks really good. And then I want to show you the application of the lip balm. So they pretty much look all the same. Um, it's not really going to matter which like color you get, because on the lips they pretty much look identical. But I'm going to show you first the matcha one, and yeah, this is just called matcha. So I'll show you guys how it looks on the lips. I do have a little bit of lip liner on, but it has a slight look of like shininess to it. It's not sparkly, but it definitely looks hydrating on the lips. You can see there, it just looks nice. It looks like they're just like juicy and they just look healthy. Um, so there's that shade. And then let me go ahead and wipe that off so you can kind of see that they all kind of look the same on the lips. So next I'll apply coconut and you guys can see that one as well. So I think it's really just going to depend on the scent that you prefer if you are going to grab one of these because I do think, like I said, they look pretty identical on the lips. Maybe just like slight difference, but it's more just gonna be the scent for those. But that is testing all of the products out. I do want to zoom you out and get into my final thoughts on the collection, what I thought of the palettes, and then also a little quick review on these because I have been wearing them now for quite a few days. Um, so I can give you guys a little bit of a wear test and all that on these as well. All right, so let's wrap up this review here. So on the palettes, I would say that the formula on these is pretty good. I feel like it is a pretty nice formula. Definitely loving the mattes in here. I do feel like they are really nice. They look great on the lid. I didn't have any issues blending. They were very smooth to apply. Um, I feel like they look very nice. There's a lot of depth more depth than I thought you could get with these palettes. Um, so if you are someone who kind of craves that in your little minis, then you definitely can get that with this. I love the green look I came up with with this green one. I will say I was a little surprised with some of the palettes, like those first shades. Like I feel like they look so much lighter in the pan, but they definitely are deeper. So if you do kind of think like, oh, that's just a bone shade on me, it's definitely not. It's gonna give you a little bit of something, um, I guess depending on your skin tone, but on me, I feel like these definitely gave more than I was expecting them to. Um, they are definitely small, they're definitely mini, but I do think that the quality is there on these and I do like them. I'm excited to play with them a little bit more. And then as far as the lip um, balms go, I feel like I would probably skip on these. I just don't feel like they are anything revolutionary. I mean, they're cute. The scents are nice. I love the packaging. I think the packaging is so, so fun on these. They did a great job with that. But I just feel like they're not the most long-lasting lip balm. I feel like I've had some that last longer, and if it's something that, you know, you're wanting to try, you could definitely pick one up, but I feel like I just would compare them to a typical chapstick that you can wear from, like, Nivea or something. I don't think that they're anything, you know, super special in my opinion, so I would say skip on these, but if you wanted to grab one of the quads, I think you would like the quality of these. That is going to sum up this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and you found it helpful. I will have links down in the description box if you want to shop any of the products, and thank you guys as always, for watching and for being patient with me, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, friends.